Today I'm going to show you how to paint a hummingbird. The first thing you're going to need is an easel like this, a table easel or a full size one, and some a board or canvas to work on. I used this one, it's Camson brand, but you can use pretty much anything. Um, right here I'm also using this special pencil, and you use it, and when you paint over it with acrylic paint, um, it does not show through. You should also be using some sort of model or picture, so right here I have this wall decoration, and it's a hummingbird. And so that's what I'm going to paint. Okay, let's get started. So to create a, an outline of what you're going to draw, you use this black pencil. It can be purchased at many art stores, and they come in different colors. And so um, using the pencil, you're going to draw a vague or detailed sketch of what you're planning on drawing. You can also add shade, texture, and detail, however you like. So I'm just going to get started. Um, what you want to do is you want to create a scale. So you want to do darkest to lightest. So we're going to move the white paint over, the light paint over here, the medium paint over here, and then last of all, we have our dark blue. So we're going to use this for the sky. So we want to always work back to front, so I'm going to do the sky first because it's the background. Then I'm going to move to flowers and then finally the hummingbird because it's a central point. Stop. Stop. So you're usually going to have a source of the light, so I'm going to put it in this um, top right corner. And so to show that the light's there, I'm going to, I think I'm going to add a few rays like this. So the rays can be little lines, lightly drawn. And then I'll use the light blue to demonstrate. Okay. So I think I'm going to start with the medium blue right here. And then continue like this. So I'll do the entire sky this way except for the rays of light. Turn it off. So as you can see here, I finished your background. You always have to start with the background. And I've added lighter shades of the blue so that you can see that the light is shining in on the picture. So now I'm going to start with the flowers. So here we, we're done with our hummingbird. I've added a few different shades of pink and red right here. Also some green to show the shine right here. And then I've added texture in the tail by combining different colors, too. So now I'm going to move on to the leaves and the other flowers. Everything is almost completely finished. So I've done all the flowers. So I'm just going to show you how to make a flower like shaded that looks 3D. So you always work from lightest to darkest. So you're going to get a pale yellow or whatever pale color you're going to use for the base. And you're just going to go around on the white parts of your flower that you've hopefully drawn beforehand. On the darker parts, you're going to get a darker version of the color or just the regular version of the color. Make, it, make sure that it's darker than the base, and you're going to go from the center outwards. If you 
you like, you can add a dab of another color, but I'm just going to leave it as it is, and thank you. Thank <laughs> you.